aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And in today's episode, we're gonna have a bit of a battle royale between, of course, the Generation Starter Bugs. Yes, so the difference here is, of course, the list has to be a little more specific, which means that you have to be a bug flying type to enter, and you need to know Quiver Dance. So Pokemon such as Legion, Dust Dogs, definitely goes out, or Scallopede for that matter. So we're ending up with a pretty decent list of five Pokemons, we're definitely famous for being able to, of course, Quiver Dance, and has, of course, the capability of being that bug flying type. With that said, there really aren't that many things that differentiate these guys apart outside of their stat. They are usually built the same way, being able, of course, being able to powder, having good stab moves, having great filler moves, but still are walled by certain Pokemons. And uh, it was actually kind of tough going down to it, you know, which one should be deserved to be considered a better between these. Because they all have the same kind of issue, the need to set up to get the damage output going. And of course, Quiver Dance is their main way of actually being, well, above average, which means they usually are forced to bring, of course, the likes of Focus Sash to be able to at least have the stamina to keep on going and not fall apart by turn one. So a quick rundown here, Bug Flying type is not a good combination. While it is immune to ground type and of course strongly against uh, fighting grass and resist bug typing, it is weak to five things, one of them being of course rocks, but electric fire, flying and ice are very very tough to deal with and definitely with the stats distribution this Pokemon has. As stated, usually they are forced to wear focus sashes mainly because their typing is terrible and they're very very easy to wheel down early due to they actually not having the bulk required to actually save for a long time. So a quick rundown their stats would basically be that their HP is between 60 to 80, so not a whole lot, we have to understand a little bit their HP. When it comes to attack stats, um, it usually, usually is very, very low. The only one standing out here is of course Mothlim in 94, which is kind of insane, but the other ones is around the 50s, and the beautiful actually have 70, so good for it. Um, they all share the same defense of 50, only Masquerade stands out with 62 here, which still is really bad, but they, that's something, right? And then of course Special Attack, Beautifly, and Masquerade wins there with of course Special Attack of the 100, though everyone has a very high Special Attack, Butterfree of Beautifly has 90, and of course Muffin has a 94. Special Defense, kind of the same as Defenses, Butterfree stands out a little bit to get with Masquerade, we know above 50 as the other ones has. But uh, that's about it, and 80 to an 82 is not necessarily a good special offense, it just is above the others, it doesn't mean that's good. And of course, the last stat here, of course, is Speed stat, which is a Muffin and uh, Beautifly, which were the more attacking variant, one with high attack. They are the slowest with 66 and 65, so not that impressive. Masquerade was 60 until this generation, now 80, so that's actually kind of okay. Definitely have Quiver Dance in motion. And then of course, Butterfree with 17, not necessarily all that impressive, and we have Leon the fastest of these with of course 89. Now that we have the stats all the way, one has really to look into their abilities and see what sets them apart. Butterfree actually have Kampa out and Tinted Lens. Kampa Dice is of course on Vivlion 2 and raises accuracy of 30%, which is not bad actually for a plethora of moves, though not necessarily for Butterfree. Tinted Lens though, uh, Race, of course, a super effective hits to do neural damage, so that's really, really great. And together with, of course, Mothim having that same ability definitely is very helpful. And then, of course, we look at the Masquerade. Masquerade has a bit more unique things going on with Intimidate and Nerve. Definitely could help it out, but as stated before, even though Intimidate is a good defensive ability, it doesn't necessarily save a Pokemon that has terrible defenses. But at least it's there. Uh, then of course, Vivlion gets Friend God and Shield Dust. Shield Dust is kind of nice, though Friend God is uh, more for VGC. And then of course we have uh, Swarm on uh, Mothim, which actually could be considered good with Focus Sash in mind and boosted that, of course, uh, Bug Bus going on. Having that said, Tinted Lens has to still can be considered a better ability. And then of course, Butterfree gets Swarm Rivalry. Not really that impressive, to be honest. So with that said, one really has to start now to see that everybody here are not on equal terms. While they do the same thing, they're used the same way, clearly there are others doing this really, really well. 
And a quick rundown is that, as stated before, you need to be fast. You're a focus sash lead usually, which means you can't necessarily offer up to the situation of being just slower. So Moffin and Beautifly are not going to be in this competition whatsoever. And sadly, I should say this too, Butterfree, while of course one of the greatest Pokemon introduced, Vivillion kind of stood out a little bit more due to its actually being able to do what Butterfree does, but slightly better. So Vivillion, more of an upgraded version of Butterfree. So Butterfree did stand out for quite some time, but of course was replaced by Vivillion. So it all now boils down to Masquerade versus Vivillion. And here is where things actually gets complicated. Vivillion has Hurricane in Campo Dice. That's super dangerous. That is definitely one of the heavier hits in the whole game. And being able to be 100% accurate or at least close to... Yeah, that's that's a tiebreaker. And it's faster too than Masquerade, which only actually enforcing that point. So had it been previous generation, I probably would have said that Vivillion would be, of course, a better one. But Masquerade has a lot of things going on too. Because in this generation, Masquerade got a buff. It got a raise in its special attack with 10 and a raise in its speed by, of course, 20, making it fairly faster, not faster than Vivillion, but it became from pretty much to like meh to actually kind of scary. And together, of course, Stick Web, which is a new a unique attack on it, together with actually a pretty darn interesting move pool. One of those standing out, of course, it gets Aqua Jet, which necessarily isn't that all good, but it gets also Surf and Ice Beam, so it's has a broader move pool, a more interesting one, is a bit of a safer Quiver Dance with Intimidating Mind. So had it come down to it, I would have given Masquerade the victory as the overall better sweeper. But the one thing I have to take account for, which is something that people may or may not actually have been questioning for <laughs> until actually Vivlion is out, and that is that Vivlion gets Celebrate. And before you start asking me, what is Celebrate? What's so different about this? It's a worthless attack. And yes, it was. Till this generation. In this generation, Celebration works much like the conversion on the Porygon. It raises every stat by one. And for a Pokemon such as Vivlion, that's scary. That's really scary. Quiver Dance always made his Pokemon really, really, really threatening. But now, it could probably utilize itself even better. Not only does it get the necessary stats, it also gets raised in its defenses, making this Pokemon much, much more bulkier. Even though it isn't necessarily a Pokemon, it still has the variety going on. To get it with, as I said it here, Hurricane. Vivlion has that nice speed here, which basically are faster than most possible mod that wins this possible matchup, making Vivlion overall the better overall Pokemon when it comes to raw offenses. And as I said, Hurricane is just that dangerous. Being able to spam that, I've seen Seth with Scarf and Specs in mind with, of course, Vivlion. It's pretty darn scary. It's uh, it's definitely up there as one of the more defeatable Pokemon to be able to try to even wave around with. If you can't outspeed it, then you are in trouble. While Masquerade overall would be considered more synergized well Pokemon, it does lack the stamina, and since these Pokemon aren't famous for its stamina in the first place, <sighs> Vivlion simply stands out as being the one that does the damage, and in this kind of environment where bug flying are such a fragile Pokemon overall, you you kind of want the damage, and Vivlion actually gives you just that. So, with that said, guys, um, what are your thoughts about this matchup? It actually was kind of tough of doing, because I know a lot of love goes into Butterfree and Beautifly, definitely. There are a lot of fans with these Pokemons, and while I do think they're great Pokemons, Vivillion easily replaced them, and it's it, it feels like Vivillion's purpose was to do it just so, become a better bug flying Pokemon. It's a terrible typing, but it's dangerous to deal with, and they definitely show that with these Pokemons in mind. But yeah, and also, of course, do you want to see another <laughs> who was really better episode? What kind of matchup did you want to see? And um, with that said, guys, I want to thank you, of course, as always, for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.